Do you have some old videos on your channel that are not generating traffic anymore? If you've been constantly publishing videos on your channel for a while, some of them are probably not getting views anymore. Today I want to share with you how you can re-optimize your old videos and bring them back to life so you can get more views and exposure to your channel. Hello, my name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and subscribers on autopilot, hit the subscribe button or hit the bell notification icon. When you re-optimize your old videos, Google will re-evaluate the video. This means I'll take another look at it, which may result in better rankings and generate more views to your channel. Here are eight steps to re-optimize the old videos on your YouTube channel. Number one, identify the videos that no longer receive any traffic. Go to your video manager and identify the videos that no longer receive many views. Open up a Google spreadsheet to create a list of those videos. Don't touch the videos that currently have high rankings, but have little or no activity at the moment. There might just be a lull in people searching for that particular keyword phrase. If you need a great tool that checks the rankings of all videos on your channel, even if it's 500 or 1000, then click the card icon. The Easy Ranks Tracker will track the ranks of all the videos on your channel in Google, YouTube, and Google Videos. Number two, evaluate the video. Watch the video to understand the structure and content of what you've created. The video content should align with the thumbnail, title, description, and tags. If there's parts of the video that should be removed because it doesn't relate to the content, then you can use the enhancement tool from YouTube to cut out the section. YouTube Enhancements allows you to trim the beginning, end, or middle sections of your video. Click the card icon to learn how to trim an old video, but maintain the comments and rankings of that video. If the video structure and presentation is really bad, you can create an updated video that link the old video to the new video using cards. Number three, redesign the thumbnail. Your current thumbnail design may look outdated when you compare it to the other thumbnail designs on Google and YouTube, you may be more inclined to click on your competitors' videos. When you redesign your thumbnails, make sure you use contrasting colors, bold text, and an image of your logo or of your face. This helps identify your thumbnails with your own channel. Keep in mind your thumbnail resolution will decrease when it's viewed in the search engines because it has a reduced size. Number four, re-optimize the title. Your current title may no longer be optimized for the search engines. Perhaps it doesn't have the right keywords or catches the attention of your viewers. Enter your main keyword in the Google suggestion box to find keyword phrases that may match the content of your video. Make sure you include your main keywords in the title. The title should match the image of your thumbnail. Number five, re-optimize the description. The first few lines of your description should summarize the content of your video. If you're redirecting people to your website, you should include the full URL in those first few lines. Make sure you also include the main keywords in those first few lines. You can then expand the description by adding links to related videos and to your social media sites. Number six, re-optimize the tags. Some of your old tags may no longer be relevant to the video content. Remove the tags that are not related to your video. Make sure you include your new title in the first tag. Then go to the YouTube suggestion box to look for similar keyword phrases that you can enter into the tags. If you have the two-bit extension, you can look at your competitors' tags to get more ideas what to put in your own. Number seven, add cards and end screens. Take a look at your audience retention graph in YouTube analytics. If you see dips in the graph, it means that viewers are leaving at that stage in your video. You can solve that by linking to a related video in a card. Add additional cards to related videos where there are more dips. If the call to action at the end of your video no longer applies, you could trim the end of the video. Click the card icon to learn how to trim the beginning, middle, or end of your video without losing views or comments. Number eight, be patient. After you made the changes to your video, Google will re-index it. It may take a few weeks or months to see the changes. Potentially, your video ranking will increase, which will lead to more views. If you re-optimize multiple videos and they all increase their rankings, this will result in more views to your overall channel. Here are a few important things to keep in mind. Avoid changing a large number of videos on your channel at the same time. Instead, re-optimize a few of them each week. Keep in mind one of the main ranking factors on YouTube is watch time and audience retention. The longer you keep viewers watching your video or multiple videos in succession, the higher your rankings. Also consider adding old videos to establish playlists. If the videos in that playlist are watched regularly, then adding another video that's related to that playlist will boost the views. Let me ask you an important question. What have you done to bring your old videos back to life? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too. 
Click the card icon to download my YouTube channel evaluation worksheet. You'll receive a step-by-step -step checklist that will help you evaluate your own YouTube channel. You'll also get links to specific YouTube tutorials to show you how to make the necessary improvements. If you want to learn how to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic leads and subscribers on autopilot, click the subscribe button below and check out the related videos.